Most CSX locomotives want to get their trains delivered on time and keep their railroad in business. They are very mindful that they are in competition with other major class 1 railroads in the United States, like Union Pacific, BNSF, and most especially their eastern rival, Norfolk Southern. Every railroad has their own purpose, which can lead to competition amongst others. However, while both CSX engines are friendly, there are some who are not friendly enough toward others that they would much rather work for other railroads. This includes the two engines who live in the old, worn-out shed at Waycross by the names of Ryan, an ES44AH bearing the road number of 809, and Donovan, an AC44CW with a running number of 71. And they are both devious plans wanting to tear CSX out of business. Previously in the last episode of Greater Folks and Rail Adventures, when Nicholas arrived an hour and 30 minutes late at Waycross, Ryan and Donovan have spotted him out of notice. Psst, did you see that? Nicholas arrived an hour and 30 minutes late. Doesn't this prove how much useless of an engine he is? I know. Why in the hell would a piece of junk like him arrive this late? This proves that SD50s like him are unreliable and can never get their job done on time. I just got an idea, Donovan. What do you say we, well, kidnap him? Great idea, Ryan. The next time we see Nicholas, we should kidnap him and take him far away where no engines would find him. Then he can run away in the scrapyard like he's nothing. <laughs> what are those two obsessed idiots up to now? Later that night, after Nicholas had a short argument with his friends in Jacksonville over being late, he was heading back to Waycross with no other engines noticing. God, I really hate being part of Power Moves. Really? You do know that Power Moves allow us to go from one yard to another, so we can do different jobs. I know, but I would rather be leading an actual train. You know you can't be a leader without a train to follow you. But, as soon as Nicholas arrived at Waycross, he had no idea what Ryan and Donovan were up to. Hey Nicholas, what are you doing here this late? Let's just say he's not in a good mood. Oh boy, is he in a grumpy mood? Yo, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Then go somewhere else, you overgrown tin can. Anyways, what happened exactly? Let's just say Thomas decided to ruin my day by, by making my train too heavy and waking me up with his horn. That makes sense. Anyways, Ryan and Donovan are up to something. 
I don't know what it is, but it looks very, very, very fishy. Bullsh- It's true, Nicholas. I've seen it. Uh, I don't think coming here was a good idea. I think we should head back home. This yard doesn't seem safe like what Caleb said, and I can feel it in my radiators. Come on, Lily. We came all this way on a boring power move and now you want to turn back? Please, let's stay here for the night. I need a break from those idiots. You don't have to listen to the advice of another moron after one already messed up our train and made us over an hour late. Yeah, whatever, Nicholas. <sighs> let's just get in the sheds. I'm already feeling half asleep anyways. they all should we also take that girl no you moron we're here for that useless sd50 well let's do it <laughs> Damn you, dumb Van! I told you not to sound your horn, you fool! We were supposed to do this quietly. Now we just woken up the other engines. Well, sorry. You just shot it too. And don't call me dumb Van. Whatever. Let's just nag that SD-50 and get the heck out of here. Whoa, what? What are you morons doing? Oh no! They got Nicholas and now they're getting away! Quick! We must stop them! <sighs> I'm trying to sleep! Well, too bad you lazy cow! You're coming with us! Fine. Let's go save Nicholas!
Damn you, Marie. We're almost getting away from those blue whales. Well, well, well. Looks like I stopped you jerks in a good time. We're in trouble now. And trouble is what you're gonna get. Ah, you guys are here. <sighs> Seriously, I watch you both every day. And now you decide to count up one of our best friends? You both idiots have serious problems. What is your problem with Nicholas? He did nothing to you. SD50s like him need to be scrapped. They're useless and too unsafe for this railroad. Bullsh he is reliable. He may be older than your kind, but you've gone too far. Oh yes, if you kidnap my friends again, how would you like for me to take you to the scrapyard, you overgrown pieces of metal disgrace to our railroad? Ha! Huh. Get roasted, you obsessed idiots. We'll leave you both with a warning. You do that again, we'll give you a taste of your own medicine. You hear me? Uh, fine. And you both better move back to where you came from. I have an important train to deliver, and I'm now running ten minutes late thanks to you stupid heads. Heck, you could have even caused a serious accident if it weren't for these signals. If I see you messing with my friends one more time, I will take serious actions and make sure your yardmaster gets notified. Understand? All right! All right! We get your warning. We promise we'll never do that again. Gosh. I'm still skeptical, knowing how those two never change. You all right, Nicholas? Yeah, I'm still recovering. I told you coming here wasn't so great of an idea. Why didn't you listen to us in the first place? Maybe if you weren't this stupid enough to come here during this part of the night, then none of us would have happened. Nicholas, he thinks so smart, but he's not. He's always late, and thanks to him, I can't get a good amount of sleep. Joshua, I swear, if you don't cut that attitude of yours, I'll take you to St. Louis, Missouri, so that we can donate you to the Museum of Transportation to show off how much of a sod you are. All right, all right, sorry, geez. Anyways, it's better for both of you to go back to Jacksonville. It's too unsafe because of those two smelly GEs. How can you even manage them? Experience, I even dealt with engines like him in the Seaboard era. Did someone mention Seaboard? Get out, Eddie. You're supposed to be at the Bone Valley. Well, I escaped that mad place. Show your trap up, buddy. I'm trying to sleep. You shut up, you worthless GE! This is worse than the time you let some X Seaboard units! Will you sh both shut up? It's freaking 2.30 in the morning! You shut up, you moron! Go get repainted to the family line scheme! Eddie, I swear, you're yelling way too loud. Hey, Will, I'm Eddie. <laughs> Shut up! Anyways, I'm just gonna head back home. I'm not staying in a yard full of idiots yelling. I'm coming with you. You know I need someplace peaceful to get sleep. See you later, Nicholas. Get lost, useless SD-50! Why did Seaboard even buy you? Can it, Eddie? Fine! Wow, your night sounded rough. Yeah, are you feeling okay now? Yeah, I'm fine. Why is it not surprising that it was those two imbeciles? 
because they always get into trouble for being complete oafs they all. It's no wonder why they never get to sleep in the actual shed at Waycross. Good morning everyone, I'm here for the assignments. Nicholas and Lily can stay here and rest due to what happened last night. Thank you sir. Alright, here's the assignments for the rest of you engines. <sighs> How humiliating. First, we failed to kidnap Nicholas last night, and now we get assigned on this damn train all the way to the Midwest. I know. I want to work for you, Pete. It's better than this dumb railroad. Well, we have a clear signal, so let's get this damn job over with so we can take this railroad down. That's right, you imbeciles. Get your lazy radiators in motion. <laughs> 